Well, hi, and thanks for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun Channel. Today is a little bit different. We don't have a Springer on the bench, but we have a PCP on the bench. This is one of my favorite air guns from, from the past, back when I was into PCPs. I sold most of them, but I still have this one and a couple others. Uh, this is an air gun technology Vulcan. So, hence the name Vulcan on the side. It's just a sweetheart of a little bullpup. It really, really is. It shoots like a dream. Um, it's a 11 shot rotary magazine clip fed bolt action rifle. It, uh, it features a fully shrouded barrel, so it's fairly quiet. It's extremely accurate. It's like one whole groups at 60 yards. It's just phenomenal how well it shoots. That's why I hung on to this rifle. Uh, I enjoy shooting it at uh, my 60 yard range because it's, um, it's accurate enough. I'll tell you a little story about this gun. I was zeroing it in at 60 yards and I just about finished when I noticed a gypsy moth caterpillar had been crawling across my target face. It took me three tries, but I cut that sucker in half <laughs> with this rifle. So that's pretty impressive. It's just a, a really, really nice gun, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so what I thought we'd do is we'll get a couple of specs on the rifle, we'll weigh it in, we'll see how long it is, and then we'll shoot it over the chronograph for a few shots and see what we get. All right, so without wasting much more time, let's go ahead and do that. Let's turn on this camera. And we'll turn on the scale, and we'll set this puppy down right here. And we have 8.2.8 ounces, so call it 8, uh, eight, eight pounds, 3 ounces. Um, so that's not bad at all. That's um, a fairly weighty gun. It holds it nice and steady on the bench for you, um, but uh, it's not so heavy that you can't manage it. As far as overall length goes, Let's put a tape on here and we'll find out. The barrel. Oops, hook that on the barrel. Just about 27 inches, almost to the T. So 27 inches long makes for a really nice handy gun. It's very short and compact. Um, it does have a manual safety just ahead of the trigger. Forward, um, rearward for safe, forward for fire. And uh, I put a cheap Simmons um, 6 to 24 power scope on here, which is perfectly adequate for this gun. It wouldn't handle the recoil of a spring piston rifle, but it will certainly do just fine on a, on a PCP. So anyway, I like to shoot, like I said, at fairly long range, so that's why I need that extra distance with this gun, or that extra, um, uh, extra magnification. Anyway, let's uh, take a couple of shots over the chronograph, and we'll see what we get. So pardon me while I set up the camera near the chronograph, and I'll be right back with you folks. Hang on, and thanks again for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun Channel. Okay, so we're ready to go with the first shot across the chronograph. We'll just shoot a few. We don't have to shoot that many. And let's see what we get. Oops. Helps if you close the bolt. 889. 888. 889. 884. So I'd say it's pretty consistent. It shoots a, a pretty good. What was that? I think about a five foot per second spread over what five shots I think it was so anyway I just wanted to share you guys make a quick video just to uh, introduce you to the um, a air gun technology Vulcan air rifle this is the first generation now since they came out with this gun they've had two more generations of the rifle so they're up to uh, the uh, Vulcan 3 right now I, I'm not sure what the differences are this gun is perfectly adequate for what I like to do I'll, I'll never upgrade to a, a third generation but um, Anyway, let's hit the bell a couple of times and see how we do. If I can find the bell. Oh, this thing hits hard. Fantastic. That thing really rings the bell, doesn't it? 
So once again, folks, I want to thank you for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Airgun Channel. If you ever get your hands to get, uh, get a chance to get your hands on one of these Vulcans, I would highly recommend the rifle. It's just a fantastic gun. Ten years, I've never had to replace a single seal. It's just a really, really nice air rifle. It's not a Springer, so it goes in the back seat for now, but uh, it'll always be there when I want it. So thanks so much, folks. I really appreciate you stopping by. If uh, you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Hit the bell if you'd like to be reminded of future videos. And by all means, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Airgun channel. You have yourself a great day.